Did they leave? The owner and the mechanic? Hmm. What if the alarm goes off? Cerrados on a fair May. Wir haben geschlossen. Siamo chiusi. Moshiwake gozaimasen. Sorry, sir. Do you speak my language? We're out of cars, comprende? I do. But... I can't rent you a car. They're all booked. Zero cars available. Well, I should say I have minus one car available, since this one broke down, and they're supposed to pick it up in two hours. But I have zero mechanics plus one shitty day, so if you'd be so kind, take a right on your way out. You'll see my competition in 300 yards. Tell them Amber Wong sent you, and that they owe me one. Have a nice day. Um, I wasn't planning on renting a car. My name is Nick Reyes. My daughter disappeared after renting a car here, uh, about a year ago. Oh, I can't tell you how sorry I am, Mr. Reyes. But if it happened a year ago, I assume it isn't that urgent. I, on the other hand, am dealing with a major crisis. Any other day, I could really sympathize with you, Mr. Reyes, but I can't right now. Have a nice day. Unless you're a skilled mechanic. Know anything about motors? You think you could fix this car? Please say yes, you're gonna say yes. Better believe I'll fix it. You have my word. It turns on, but no matter how much I step on the gas pedal, it doesn't budge. <sighs> that selfish bastard. I should have known he'd bail out on me, asshole. A little piece of life and business advice, Mr. Reyes. If you ever start a business and hire your significant other, well, never break up during high season. Can you open the hood for me, please? Hmm. What? I don't know yet. Wow, that's... A great start. Try turning the key in the ignition, please. Can you press the accelerator? I just told you the car won't budge no matter how much I press that pedal. Are you sure you know how these things work? Ugh, I can't believe you gave me your word. Put the car in drive. Huh. What? It's what I thought. That's why I ask you to put it in drive. The clutch cable is loose. I'll need to unscrew the cables from the terminals, move the battery, touch the loose cable. Where do you keep your tools? In the parking area, the big chest. Locked. No worries. The keys are in... No. No, 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 that... Son of a bitch took them. And he hasn't answered any of my calls or messages since we broke up. Oh, just wait till I find him. 
you. Break it, smash it, burn it, bomb it if you have to. Just open the damn box. It's the customer for this car. I was just about to tell him my grandmother died so he'd cancel. I should tell him to come, right? I gave you my word. Give it to me yourself. Start the car. Ah, hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. You okay? Like I said, this isn't my day. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Are you alright? You know what I'm gonna do? Study mechanics for emergencies like this. I've got two college degrees. It can't be harder than making sense of a spreadsheet. I just can't do it all on my own. You know how hard it is to run a business like this? I'm gonna need somebody. A good mechanic. Better one than that idiot. Your turn. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not a mechanic, and uh, I'm not looking for a job. And I didn't offer you one. <laughs> Are you serious? We both know you just got lucky. I mean, about what you told me before. So tell me, how can I help you? I'm looking for my daughter. She's 25. But she can look more like 20 or 30, depending on how she dresses. Caucasian, blonde, green eyes. You rented her a car last year, between the 7th and 8th of October. She might have been coming from the airport. If I could check your records, It'll just take a second. Please? No. Any idea how serious the authorities are these days about data protection? So, I'm really sorry, but I can't help you. Of course, I can't stop you from stealing the information when I'm not looking. What's a girl to do if she has to run to the bathroom and has, say, zero mechanics to watch her desk for her? Given the insane morning I've had, you'll excuse me, right? A list of customers who rented a car between the 7th and 8th of October of last year. How about that?
I hope you find your mechanic soon. And I hope you find your daughter, Mr. Reyes. Uh, one last thing. Is anything you told me true? I'm afraid not. Of course. I'll hold the job for you until Monday. Deal? I'm all ears. Where the hell were you? I told you I was working, didn't I? We got him, Nick. It's Miller, the bullet that killed my uncle. He's from the gun you found in his car. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. I know how you feel, kid, but... No, I'm not gonna kill him. I should face it until he tells me where my aunt is. Adam, tell Harley to make you some tea or punch a pillow or whatever you need to do. Just don't leave the station. We'll go together, all right? Adam? I just received some crucial information. Um, not only does Faye exist, but... I'm going to arrest Miller. What? No! The gun from his glove compartment killed Samuel Franklin. No, Ed didn't kill anybody. It is what it is. Please, listen to me, please. Okay, go ahead. Talk. Did you visit the car rental agency? Yes. I had the names. No fay. If I'm right, it makes sense that she wouldn't use her real name. I know everything points to Ed, but it's a ploy. A ploy meticulously organized by a sick mind. Fay. Do you have proof? Not yet. Nor do you have evidence that the gun belonged to Ed, let alone that he was the one who shot it. Not yet. So, that makes two of us. I'm not 100% convinced, but what do you want me to do? Could you meet me at the Brody Canyon Bridge in an hour? wrong with you? You almost killed me. The county will pay for any damages. What are you looking for? He's at the house, isn't he? Adam Franklin. You won't find the person who killed your uncle in that house. But I know where to start looking. 
He would never hurt your aunt or uncle. He really cares about them. He can't help you find your aunt, but I can. I have to stop by my motel first, but in 45 minutes, we're going to do a little experiment on the Brody Canyon Bridge. See you there? I had to make sure. You ready? All those precautions, and now you won't even check that it's really me? Come on. This is where you'll see what I see, which is what the drone sees, but without VR. Hey, do I have to arrest you again? I'm fuck? not a cop, a cop, and nobody's arresting anybody. Sky D, Dave, offered to help us. The images his drone provides will help us test out a theory. And we'll see everything from here. Okay? <laughs> Are you giving away free donuts? Or what?
You're veering away from the middle of the bridge. Your call, boss. Where do I send the bird? I think Ed did. Can you fly to the middle of the bridge and hover right beneath it? A duffel bag? So what? People come here to do yoga? For the views? Adam, call Harley, all right? We need a tactical unit to deploy rope operations under the bridge. I'm on it. Oh, and one more thing. Find that good Samaritan who saved Miller. The uh, truck driver? In case we forgot to ask him anything. So now what, boss? But... Why would she leave that bag there? Unless... Dave? Can you cross over to the other side of the bridge and head straight down to the bottom of the cliff? You need to almost touch the ground. You're crossing over to the sea-facing side of the bridge. Try to come back to the other side. to the base of the bridge. of the face, Sky D. God, I think I'm gonna puke. The face, Dave. Are you seeing this? Anybody know that chick? Sorry, the medical examiner was late. Let's hope she doesn't take too long to determine the cause and day of death. Although, it looks pretty obvious, right? <laughs> Are you busy? Should I step out for a second? Uh, no, no, it's nothing. Well, it always looked pretty obvious to you. 
If only I had listened to you sooner. Don't worry. I'm used to it. Occupational hazards. Others would have taken longer. Should we examine it all? Please. I honestly don't know where to start. Any idea what it might open? I'd say it's for a car or some other vehicle. According to Ed, Faye took an Uber this time and a rental car the time before, so I don't know. Hmm. I still have to check the names I got at the agency. Are we sure that Faye used that to pretend she jumped off the cliff when she was actually lowering herself down to the landing where we found the bag? As sure as we can be that the body is Faye's. Wait. You finally convinced me. And now you want me to question it all again? Our hacking specialist unlocked it. Plus we also got her fingerprints which are being cross-checked as we speak. Hmm. No text. No contacts. No calls. And I'm sure there aren't it. Wait. We do have some photos. Miller sleeping. Miller on the computer. Miller at the window. Damn, she was obsessed. Miller and the girl exists? She exists, but where is she? Oh, God. Kitchen. The office. What does she want? To build a model of the house? Basically, a mental one. Her smiling. Another smile. And another smile. Why all this smiling? She's practicing. She may have had difficulty reading facial expressions in others, and therefore reproducing them herself. Seems like a classic psychopath. Lack of empathy, right? There are many causes. Neurodegenerative diseases, autism spectrum disorders. In many cases, the right education might have compensated for this type of condition. Almost all of those who suffer from it are perfectly adapted to and contributing members of our society, and no less happy than you or me. But, yes, in this case, seems like your classic psychopath. So, Faye dressed up as John Miller. Did he always dress like that? Well, when he was young, he was more casual. Ed would have been, hmm, I don't know, 
five or six when John started dressing like that. That's a really strong neuroleptic. In layman's terms? An antipsychotic used in acute cases of schizophrenia or manic disorders. Medication belonging to Faye or? It has plenty of side effects, the mildest being its narcotic properties. It can cause almost immediate sedation. Hmm. Narcotics and antipsychotics. Both were found in Miller's blood. Hmm. We'd need Ed to confirm, but from what he told me, it's just the kind of clothing Faye wore. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to take this all in. Hmm. We haven't finished yet. I found it in Miller's car. But I could have sworn he hated whiskey. He has his reasons. Believe him. It was in the glove compartment of his car, but I guess at this point, that doesn't mean much. Where'd you get that? I found it on the cliff, near Miller's car. I thought it was his, but I guess I was wrong. Faye was a psychopath. She was obsessed with Miller. She sedated him, drugged him, planted false evidence all over the car, including the gun that killed Samuel Franklin. Dressed up as John Miller, waited till Ed woke up, pretended to jump off of the bridge, Killing herself? Was that her plan? There are too many loose ends. And a baby that we have to find. Van Esther Franklin. What's missing? What aren't we seeing? <laughs> it's mine. with these young people and all these voice messages. Hey, I went to the company that truck driver Barry Dennison works for, but he was done for the day. They told me about this bar he goes to, but he wasn't there either. But I did see this picture on the wall. I'll send it over. <laughs> what? I know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'd go right now, but I'm hungry as a wolf, and this place, they should have been closed down months ago. Actually, I know some much, much better places to eat out in this town. Yeah, it's getting late, and I'm tired. Uh, I should get back to the motel. Yeah, you're right. It's getting late. Should we continue tomorrow? We could go through the list of drivers together. Maybe in the afternoon? Uh, yes, let's continue tomorrow.
Here he comes. Careful there, old geezer. Late again, Dennison. I had a rough night. Okay. If this happens one more t it won't. I'll hook on the trailer and be out in a second. Hand over the routing sheet. Boss. There won't be any routes today, Mr. Dennison. The county, in appreciation of your work as a good Samaritan, on the 20th of September, on the Brody Canyon Bridge. We'd like to offer you a guided visit of the police station. Bastard. American citizen! I have rights! Does he? I do. And now I'm one driver short, thanks to the county. Fishing me someday. I'll get the bait. Normally, in these cases. My assistant plays good cop, and I play bad cop. But unfortunately, since you two started off on the wrong foot, I've got to do it all. <clears throat> so, it's your pick. Which role would you like to see me in? Mm, uh, in the role of... A beaner? See? Hmm. I pick. We know you've been involved in something real ugly. If you cooperate and tell us everything that happened at the bridge that morning, well, I can't make any promises, but you'll probably get off scot free Or just about. I have no fucking clue what you want me to tell you. Hmm. I see. My buddy Ben, your boss, doesn't seem to like you very much. Hmm. Being sheriff, I got connections. It wouldn't be hard for me to get you into a better position. Working for the county, for instance. I hope your wingman is better at playing good cop because. Unfucking believable. We found the cap at the bottom of Brody Canyon. Are you going to deny that it's yours? Must have fallen when I was saving a goddamn life. I found it over 200 yards from where you held Miller down. It was windy, for Christ's sake. True. A little. Blowing the other way, though. I'm surprised you haven't said the thing about talking to a lawyer first. I don't talk to lawyers. Hmm, okay. I'll do the talking if you want. They're all a bunch of... Uh... Hey, what are you doing with my phone there? Saving you the trouble. I have my rights. Let's see. Lawyers? That's illegal. I'll report you. Ah, you need a lawyer for that. Many favorites in your contacts? <sighs> Son of a bitch. I'll pick again. In fact, I have a few candidates right here. Sheriff Reyes, why is this number in Barry Dennison's contact list? Barry who? Oh, he looked um, decent on the app. I deleted his number after the first date. Bitch. Thanks, Miss Thompson. An agent will call you shortly.
Hey, how's my favorite customer? Detained. Sheriff Ray is speaking. And you are? Oh, uh, Tom DeLucci. Owner of the Golden Blonde. So, uh, what did he do? And why is he your favorite customer? Yeah, sure. Always happy to cooperate with the police, Sheriff. He's been a regular for a while, but he spent big money recently on girls, drinks. How much is big money? Almost ten grand. Listen, if he stole it, I had no idea. My clients prefer I don't ask, you know? Fucking greaseball. We'll be in touch, Mr. Delucci. like someone named Brainless Loser Barry is calling Crazy Bitch. We find your hat where it shouldn't be, your number where it shouldn't be. Maybe we should stop playing games, huh? Sheriff, I just... I've got your lady friend's body over in the morgue. And good cop or bad cop, you're looking at a first-degree murder charge. Uh, I... I didn't! She... She jumped! From the beginning, Dennis. <sighs> she came on to me at Lawrence, and I thought I'd be getting laid that night, but she gave me 200 bucks up front and promised me 10 grand if I helped her with something legit, no strings attached. Hmm? I had to be at the Brody Canyon Bridge a few days later, at 4.30 a.m. Is that a stiff? Darling, you can count me out. Uh -uh, no way. You think I'm capable of killing somebody? He's asleep. Sort of. I just want to scare him a little. Make him pay. What? What did he do to you? He abused me. But I don't want to talk about that. Oh, sure, yeah. All right. What do I have to do? Wait. 